It's okay, man. After the game, Randy Carlisle said the injury's not that serious. Can you take the mask off? I just don't want anyone to see me cry. Oh my god, finally! Go, Canadian fire! Country! Deal with it. Elon Smash! Owen Rubowski. GTFO. I got it from a bar. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to good people? James Reimer got hurt, and that really sucks. But Leafs win! 5-2 to two over the Philadelphia Flyers. Reimer went down and it looked like he was going to be gone, uh, what, four to six weeks? But now they're saying he won't be out too long. And I mean, Randy Carlyle said it, but I won't believe it until I hear it from his mom. Seems to be the standard in this city. And things don't start off very well as the Flyers score to make it one nothing. I'm not going to say who scored the goal because it doesn't matter who scored the goal. Luke Shen assisted. Okay, I gotta say who scored. It was Wayne Simmons, Scarborough boy, I gotta represent. The middle school he went to is a five minute walk from my house. And we went to all the same party. That's a lie, I've never met him. But when Shen got that assist, I'm like, of course! One of the guarantees in life. Death, taxes, a former Leaf having success in his first game back. Although shortly after, he pinches way too hard to throw a hit and the Leafs come back the other way. I remember this. Grabowski hits the crossbar, doesn't go in, but I'm like, this game has potential. Sure enough, Komarov back to Phaneuf and whoo. He's still pretty young, but that's some old school Dion. His shot is somewhat hard. And Grabowski hasn't had a very good start to the season, so some people are like, all right, what do we got to do? What line do we got to put him on to get him going? Well, Komarov and Kuliman have points in back-to-back -back games and the Leafs are winning. Why would you make that change? Two of five into the second, Frazier McLaren puts it on and Colton Orr uh, I'm sorry it says Colton Orr scored a G-O-A Colton Orr with a good hard working goal the Leafs have the lead and obviously I've been a big critic of the Leafs fourth line this season I think you could use a little more skill but in the last few games gooning shenanigans aside they've actually been like a fourth line kind of and that is yeah sometimes you look terrible trapped in your own zone but others you're actually providing energy and crushing the opponent and for someone who has criticized Colton Orr allow me to say this he does look different doesn't he he looks faster stronger someone who's not hurt anymore frankly and here's another reason you don't go screwing with the lines less than 30 seconds later Fratton with a tip in for another goal I still say he's got to slow down eventually but apparently not yet and just a few minutes later dirty goal Fratton to Kadri to MacArthur just Ugh. The LeafsNation.com post-game blog in the underbar has highlights. That goal was f it was pretty good. And MacArthur scored, so you know what that means. It's his third year as a Leafs, Steve. How long are we going to do this bit? Not long, not long. Uh, four, four or two Leafs after two. One of the questions I'd like to ask you after this game, and this happened in the second period, Corbinian Holzer's hit on McGinn. Suspension? Grabowski was able to avoid suspension thanks to a lack of concrete evidence. Uh, that's, that's pretty... That's pretty concrete. First offense though, and he did get five in a game. Maybe you let Corbinian off. I say two games max, he might not even get one. And maybe my favorite, remember the Leafs Nation post-game blog that I mentioned in the underbar? Well, it's got a gif in it. And it's James Van Riemsdyk blowing by Luke Shen. So if you want, you can watch that goal over and over and over. And nothing against Shen, but it's so nice for the Leafs to finally be on the nice end of that. It's the Leafs that are always getting killed by the former player, not the other way around. And not only does JVR score on his former team, but he beats Luke Shen to do it just... Oof. But, but, I got a problem. Now unless fans were going Luke, which is entirely possible, but apparently fans were booing Luke Shen. Of all the Leafs that have said goodbye over the last few years, Shen is one of the last ones you should boo. He did a ton of charity work in the city. Is not the greatest interview in the world, but always, always had time to talk. He was in the post-game scrum after almost every game. And in 2008, a Leafs team with really no direction said, Hey, we know we should send you back to junior, but can you be our best defenseman now? Thanks! And for the most part, from what I've seen on Twitter and stuff, Flyers fans seem to be pretty happy with him. Last but not least, already touched on Reimer getting injured, but in less than two periods, Ben Scrivens essentially faced a full game full of shots. He stopped 32 of 33, and he didn't allow one in until just over 30 seconds left with a four-goal lead. But now the Leafs situation gets a little weird. I've said it in videos, I've written blogs about it. I am cool with a Reimer-Scrivens tandem. And if Reimer goes down to injury and Scrivens has to be the starter for a couple weeks or whatever it is, I'm cool with that too. Where I get worried is the guys under Reimer and Scrivens. You see Runis, I've never really had that much faith in. He shows flashes of brilliance, games where you can't get anything past him, stops 45 of 45, and then, eh. 
and even Marco Wuya. Mark in the park has some hot stretches, but NHL ready? And with the team doing so well and goaltending really not being the problem up to this point in the season, you gotta wonder what Dave Nonis is thinking right now. And as soon as Reimer gets injured, we see people talking about, oh, are the Leafs gonna go out and get Luongo now? Right, the Leafs' $1.8 million bargain starting goaltender goes down for like a month, and the Leafs are gonna acquire one of the largest contracts in NHL history. That makes perfect sense, guys. I said it in the summer, if they get Luongo, they get Luongo, but this isn't gonna be the catalyst. So secondary to the holes are maybe getting suspended question, you're Dave Nonis, Reimer's out for, let's just say, a month. What do you do? Thanks for watching. Check out all the cool links in the underbar and see you next time as the Leafs look for a little revenge for last time against the Hurricanes.